So I do think that we can pass those. And, and just br very briefly, to your last question, what's the efficacy of, pa of banning these magazine clips? I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high-capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And today we're gonna to talk about gun control and uh, its advocates. We have been having the gun control debate in this nation uh, for at least as long as I have been alive. And during that time, uh, you have one side that has been pushing for more and more gun control. And in the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years, it's always the same laundry list, right? Universal background checks, uh, red flag laws, magazine limits, banning certain types of rifles or guns or whatever. If you've been paying attention to this debate at all, you know that the eventual goal is complete and utter confiscation of all civilian held firearms in their entirety. So one, it's important to keep in mind the end goal. Two, it's also extremely interesting to me that the people who continue to advocate for gun control are either A, lying, or B, completely and utterly willfully ignorant of the basest facts about firearms. The clip that I played at the beginning of this video was from actually from 2013, but it stumbled into my Twitter feed. And if you know at all how firearms work, uh, it's an extremely confusing, right? So usually you have a magazine that holds bullets uh, and then the bullets get stripped out of the magazine and this, this big plastic box here, that's the magazine, that stays. She seems to be under some kind of confusion that of course uh, the magazine, the bullets are one piece and once you shoot this whole thing then the magazine itself is useless and you can't refill it with bullets. Uh, I mean obviously clueless or again lying about the basest facts of firearms. And this happens not just like once or twice or 10 years ago, but again and again and again and again. There's the most recent quote about Joe Biden talking about how a nine millimeter pistol round will blow the lung out of the body. He said a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in the lung and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it and save the life. A nine millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body which of course is completely preposterous. Buy a shotgun. Recently, I did a video on this channel uh, talking about an article that uh, Michael Fanon, I can't remember if that's the correct name or pronunciation, uh, wrote for CNN where he basically just spent, I don't know, eight, 12 paragraphs just entirely lying about the AR-15. And again, it's interesting to me that in such a hotly debated topic like firearms, they're either lying or they can't get the most base facts about firearms correct. In either case, we no longer need to take these people seriously. Now, of course, you need to take the threat to your rights seriously. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is these aren't serious people. They are either complete and utter hopeless idiots who can't even be bothered to learn the most basic information about something they wish to pass laws about, or they're liars. Those are the only two options, because at this point in America, in the gun debate, you have no excuse for not knowing what you're talking about. Even if you are the most rabid, anti-gun, foaming at the mouth person there is, you should still obviously understand the basic facts of what it is that you're banning, because that's why you're banning it, right? Because you know about it, and you know the damage it causes, and all these other things, and that's of course why you're banning it. So I find it extremely interesting that anti-gun people continue to not even be able to express to you the most basic facts about firearms. So the next time you have a friend or an acquaintance who goes off about gun control or talks about how we need it or whatever, start asking them basic facts about guns. Not necessarily to trip them up, right? Not necessarily like, well, what's the difference between a 223 round and a 556 round, right? Like not necessarily things like that, but just ask them, well, what are you, you know, we need to ban semi-automatic weapons. Say, okay, great, that's, I understand. Um, what is a semi-automatic weapon? And see what they say. Because the people that on the ground that get, hear the lies and the misinformation don't know what they're talking about. And they think they're informed. Because I heard from a gun control advocate, and I heard this was dangerous, and they said this, and so of course it's bad. 
But when you start asking people the most basic facts about firearms and how they work and what they are, you're going to find out they don't know anything. And in that one-on-one -on -one conversation with that friend or that acquaintance, that is the best place that you are going to have to try to change the wave on gun control because you can inform this person, they can find out how ignorant they are, and hopefully that will lead to further education, which would of course lead to realizing how ridiculous gun control is and the fact that they're just being lied to or led by blind sheep who are complete idiots. In either case, of course, no one wants to be led by an idiot or a liar. I hope that's helpful. And I hope that helps you understand the gun control debate a little bit better. Do brave deeds and endure.